the Spartanburg Post Office has done superior service to us for the primary. They were delivering ballots, mail-in ballots, as late as the afternoon before the polls closed on the primary election. So we have a high degree of confidence in the post office to get these mail-in ballots back to us. What concerns do we have going forward to June? Well, obviously, we're contacting each of our 98 precincts to see if we can use them as a voting site. We had 12 precincts for the June primaries that we had to combine. Uh, schools were not part of that. There were churches and some of the county fire departments. Uh, so we're, we've now received, uh, from a response to my letter, just about 26 uh, positive responses back. So we're cons considering and continuing to try to get down the voting locations. Uh, one of our largest locations we had to combine for June uh, was the Cornerstone Church. We had to combine that with Mount Moriah. And we're hoping right now we're in contact with Cornerstone to, uh, to use that facility. We can't have the place sanitized after we, we use the facility. So we hope that that will be a factor in their favor for us. But we're hoping we don't have to combine precincts at all. We do have some new voting sites. So Powell Saxon Unit, which has been voting at uh, J.C. Bobo, now has its own home at Grace Baptist Church of Woodlock. Uh, the Glendale Fire Department, we're, we're moving to the school district three admin headquarters. The uh, Cleveland Elementary, we're moving to the T.K. Gregg Center. So we're excited about those moves. We're moving to Bowling Springs ninth grade old facility into the new Bowling Springs ninth grade campus. Uh, that's going to be a challenge in directing voters because the Bowling Springs High School precinct, they sit side by side. So I expect to get some phone calls. What do you mean? Where's my public location and so forth? But we think the, the moves will be well deserved. No excuse absentee voting. In the June primary, the South Carolina General Assembly allowed an emergency reason to vote absentee because of COVID. Uh, that expired June the 30th. Right now, people mailing in an absentee ballot are coming in to vote absentee, and uh, particularly mailing the ballot, have to have the witness signature. That was waived in June. So I would hope that you would also support our legislative delegation in getting the General Assembly to waive the signature of the mail-in ballots uh, to allow COVID to be used as a reason to, to vote in person absentee. I think it's, it's the safe thing to do for our, for our citizens. Uh, one of the other things we have is we have to process those ballots uh, that are mailed in, and we were allowed to begin processing those on Monday before the election. And by that, I mean we have to physically open each of the mailed in envelopes, remove the ballot here in envelope, open that envelope, press, remove the stub, and so forth on the ballots. Now, with several thousand ballots, one of the, one of the counties had 3,000 ballots. On election day, it took them six hours to process those 3,000 ballots. 